Hi everyone, I'd like to focus a little bit on Sim 3D, specifically how can we generate drawings like the following. So the idea behind it is that you have the same drawing that's or the same building that's repeated twice on a site. And for those of you that know how to do this already, um, you might set up the coordinate system. So if I report the shared coordinate system from over here, it gives me the value over there. That's not what this video is about, but here we can see how the values correspond. This is in meters, that's in millimeters. These are two separate links that came in and they were generated in Civil 3D. Specifically, in Civil 3D, how do we give the guys this annotation over here? so that they can input that easily within Revit. Well, this is Civil 3D. This model was originally just for context. I started it in InfraWorks and then brought it into Civil 3D. This is the backdrop, the Bing imagery in the background that you can see there. The topography is from InfraWorks and then I went to place two building sites, created a bit of a, um, a grading for them. And there we can see where they are. And I want to label the, the lines that I drew over here with some labels that gives me the ordinate, the northing and the easting. So that's the one instance. The other one is where you see this image in the background over there. Civil 3D does this automatically. Or Map 3D, which Civil 3D is based on. But an AutoCAD it does not do that automatically. So we would like to have a northing and easting, as well as a latitude and a longitude for a specific point on this drawing before we can generate that in AutoCAD. And what this blog is about is how do we create labels with which we can do this. All right. Because if you go to the annotate tab, you won't find that under your labeling section. There's nothing over here that's going to give you the latitude, longitude, and so forth. So we start off with a new label style for note labels, the, which is notes. So there's the note label style. We drop this down, we can create a new one. In my case, I'm going to do a northing and easting, a latitude and a longitude, because that's what AutoCAD would need, right? If it was one of those um, horizontal lines or the, or the latitudinal lines that you saw on the screen, that would be a northing. If it was one of the vertical or the um, going across the screen, that would be your easting. In my case, I want both a northing and easting as well as the latitude and the longitude so that AutoCAD would understand that, all right? So I, I give it a name here. I was going to say N E L L, then general, and then layout. So over here is where I can actually put the contents in. I also don't want this little box to be around there. So there's the text on the border. I'm just going to say that the visibility is false. It won't generate the border for me. And then on the contents, this is where I can say what I want in here. I'm going to get rid of the note. I can choose the units that I want to generate it in. I use meters. You could use millimeters. The precision. That's accurate to a millimeter. Rounding, periods, etc. That's the northern. Then you add it with the arrow and you press enter for cage return line feed and then we go with the easting. We have to go through the same settings over there. Also meter is input, that's northern easting. And then lastly latitude. 
just going to enter that as it is and longitude and then I'll say okay and okay and then I can add a point so if I wanted to know exactly what say where are we let's <coughs> just take something that's nice and visible so if I wanted to know exactly what this point here is close here it tells me of this point exactly the information that I require both the latitude, the longitude, as well as the northern and eastern. This helps a lot as well when generating layouts, like you've seen the ones that I've used within Revit. I hope you've enjoyed this short presentation on how to create your note styles to get your northing and easting within Civil 3D. And until next time, enjoy using your Autodesk AEC design collection or Civil 3D or Revit or whichever software you are working on this week.